You've just been shot by a pencil. LeBron, three seasons ago, after you beat Toronto, you told Cleveland.com that you didn't have anything left to prove, or you asked what you have left to prove. And I wanted to know if that's changed over the past three years. Did you feel you had something to prove, and why is this one so important Damn, for you? BT. Yeah, I got empathy for LeBron. You can play 200 games straight, they still gonna judge you off the rings you won. And whatever jersey you put on. Not to mention, compel you to niggas who wouldn't even play you one on one. Hope it ain't no J.R. Smith up on my team. Cause I be damned if you ride the bench all season and get a ring. I'm out here trying to be MVP. But in reality, it's some niggas cool with being Javel McGee. These niggas only in it for the perks. They think the grass is green on the other side. But it's really turf, and you really grew yours about the dirt. Niggas asking for the skin up on my back. I already gave them the shirt. What else you want from me? I'm like a futon, you can't sleep on me comfortably. And I be right here on this knife whenever they come for me. I'm really the high boss. That shit just ain't no bumblebee. They really got their buzz for me. I can't make this up anyway. Couldn't make this up for me. I came up out that water. I'm the captain of the submarine. Her and the bro fell off, and ain't no hope for his recovery. His BM says he dig me. I told that hoe keep shoveling, cause you can't get no love from me. That's just the way it is. Let me drop these kids off. Open up, come babysit. Let me fuck your wig off. Before I lift off, fly until I die. They pray my wings stop. Rick Ross, they pissed off, they mad. Personally, thinking I have something to prove fuels me. And it fueled me over these last um, year and a half since my injury. It fueled me because um, no matter what I've done in my career up to this point, there's still a little rumblings of doubt or, you know, comparing me to, you know, the history of the game and um, has he done this, has he done that, you know, so um, having that in my head, having that in my mind, saying to myself, why not still have something to prove? I think it fuels me. Gave the game everything I had. I put my blood, sweat, and tears in it. Couple teammates lost they drive. I can feel the gear shifting. Told my ACL get tripping, but I bet I play when I'm still injured. It's something about playing the game until that buzzer, that shit feel different. I sweep all the confetti up. The celebration's over. Your ring start to get tarnished when the next season approaching. If I ever get traded and you turn to my opponent, please don't take these L's personal. I want it how you want it. I heard your post game interview and couldn't believe my ears. You watched me ball for years. I could you not highlight the real You act like I ain't perfect my jumper up in that gym All by myself night after night Till I became one with the rim Not my jumper wet for real This is a historic franchise And to be a part of this Is something that I'll be able to talk about And my, my grandkids and kids will be able to talk about That their papa or their dad played for the Los Angeles Lakers It's like playing for the Yankees and winning It's like playing, you know, for the Cowboys And winning a Super Bowl or, or, or the Patriots it's like, you know, playing for the Red Sox. And so to be able to win with a historical franchise is something that you can never, no matter if your mind wavers away, you can always remember what you're doing it for.